Hey everybody, Dr. Chris, and today I'm going to talk to you about um, um, a little piece of equipment that I like to use, uh, which is I think an effective tool that um, is something that you may not have seen before, but this is something that we have in our gym and something that people may have access to, which um, will allow them to work on leg strength and quad activation. So the, the piece of equipment that we're talking about today is the slack line. And if you look at this here, this looks quite scary, but it doesn't necessarily need to be that, um, doesn't need to be that. So this is something that um, you can uh, either scale up or scale down according to your skill level and your level of experience. But um, this is something that we use here in the gym, not only for training, but we also use this for rehabilitation. And, and I'll explain to you um, a little bit about why I like to use this and how are ways that you can incorporate something like this into your own um, training or rehabilitation. So one of the things I like about the, the slack line is that it is unpredictable. In other words, you are balancing on this surface, but it moves. It's not as if you are balancing on the floor. So it adds another level of complexity and difficulty to any type of balance maneuver. Another reason why I like to use this piece of equipment because this is a piece of equipment that's quite scalable. So um, if you are somebody who is a little bit more experienced, then you can do this without any type of assistance. But on the other hand, if you require some assistance, you can use two poles or a single pole for balance to help you move. If you are less skilled, you can put it closer to the ground. And if you are more skilled, then you can put it higher or farther away from the ground. So it has lots of um, options for scalability that, uh, are, that will incorporate all types of skill levels and all type of, um, or all levels of experience. Another reason, um, and this is probably the most important reason why I like to use this piece of equipment, is um, because this is a piece of equipment that really engages the quadricep and it forces the quadricep to fire. So after a knee injury or after knee surgery, one of the big problems that we have with patients is getting their quadriceps to activate so that they can have active knee extension. So that's a big problem. And we have lots of different ways to work on that and try to develop that. But one of the things that I like about the slack line is because you have thrown in this, um, this uh, issue of unpredictability, it really forces the body to turn on the quads and to send all, lots of nerve impulses to the quad to get it to fire. And, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if you stand on the ground and you stand with your leg locked in extension, you can balance in this position. And it's relatively easy. And the reason why is because you are using the static stabilizers, which are the shape of the bones and the ligaments, to produce most of your stability when you're in that position. So, and, and you can do a, a really simple experiment. You can balance with your legs straight and then time yourself and see how long you can do that. To make it a little bit more difficult, you can balance, bend your knee and see how long you can do that. Usually the time where you can be in the bent knee balancing position is going to be shorter than the time when you're with a straight leg. And this is because now you have introduced an unstable position. A bent line is less stable than is a straight line. And so it now requires muscle activation. And the muscles around the knee, which help to stabilize it, are the quadriceps, the hamstrings, and the calves and the muscles of the anterior compartment. So all of these muscles have to work together to stabilize the knee when it's in a bent position. But if you really want to take it up to another level, not only do you bend the knee, but you add in some in unpredictability, which is this unstable surface. 
And by having this unstable surface with a bent knee, you really force the quadricep to come alive and you force your brain to send nerve impulses to your quadricep in overdrive. So I really enjoy using this as a way of forcing the quadricep to turn on and start engaging the muscle. So, easier to be in a standing position, much harder to be in a bent knee position, and then bent knee where we're balancing. You want to be able to to be on the slack line with nothing and to be able to traverse. Ah, the whole thing. Ultimately, that's the goal. Now keep in mind that this slack line is a beginning slack, beginner slack line because it's two inches thick. To increase the difficulty, they have a narrower slack line, which is only an inch thick, which makes it a lot harder. But this is perfect for use, and it serves the purposes that we want for both rehabilitation and for training.